In a world where technology and nature often seem at odds, a new innovation is breaking the mold. Quantum technology is going green. Quantum magnetometers, devices that measure magnetic fields, traditionally rely on power-hungry lasers. But now, researchers have found a way to replace these lasers with a much greener alternative, sunlight. We don't convert sunlight into electricity. We directly use the sunlight, specifically the green light, to power the quantum sensor. A diamond, with its atomic defects caused by nitrogen atoms, is at the heart of this new technology. When hit with green light, these defects fluoresce, emitting red light proportional to the strength of surrounding magnetic fields. The sunlight-powered quantum sensor gathers green light from the sun, focuses it on the diamond, and voila! The same red fluorescence revealing magnetic field strength, but without the energy-consuming lasers. Bypassing the conversion of light to electricity, this approach is three times more efficient than using solar cells to power lasers. It's a significant leap forward in the efficiency of quantum tech. This convergence of solar research and quantum technology is largely unexplored. It could spark more interdisciplinary research in the field of energy. The sunlight-driven approach could also benefit other quantum devices, including those sensitive to electric fields or pressure. Even space-based quantum tech might use intense sunlight to power sensors. With diamond impurities detecting weak magnetic fields and the potential to track atomic nuclei in molecules, this technology could revolutionize chemical reactions observation. The sunlight-driven quantum sensor is just the start. The future of quantum tech promises a blend of advanced, precise, and environmentally sustainable devices. A future where the power of the sun doesn't just light up our world, but also illuminates the quantum realm.